do me a favour, boys. Leave your DNA on that like button. Nice one. Rich has just gone in Starbucks now, and we're going to try that good to go. There he is. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. I've got to say, it's a fantastic con maple at Lidl. I only went in there for a free donut. And I've come out of about 20 quid. Well, I think it's 15 quid actually. I'll show you when I get home. Yeah, it's a great thing, Lidl. They always pull it on me. I can't, can't come out of there without getting a bargain. I'll show you when I get home. Rich, I bet that was a tidy sum. All spent. You know how to record it. All spent in the best of honour, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you scarce or cool? I'm fucking. I'm. I'm Northampton. Right, new plates on there. New plates on the front. Rich has just got Mrs. Kruger some new planters. Gonna stick them over there for her. And on that note, let me just show you. Let's see if I can do this in one take, Rich. Just like magic. New plates on the back and all. Bloody Nora. Saturday night. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to go to Lidl. Or get some fish and chips. I think it's going to be tonight fish and chips, maybe. We'll see. I really think the the reg really sets off the van. <laughs> it's a small thing, but it just makes it look nice. Well, I was just here at the patisserie, uh, ordering, ordering, having a look. That my usual jam donuts and Belgian buns. I'll take out of my pocket now. This lovely lady said to me, why don't you try one of these butter? What is it, my love? It is cheese twist. It's actually lovely, look. A cheese twist, so I said, how many do, do you do for a pound? How many did you say? Just one. Offering me things like this. But I said, you know what, I'll take one. So I'm gonna try that tonight. Thank you, my love. We'll see how it goes. Right. We'll see him come up from Norfolk today. Um, man, he's funny. Just spent like a few hours in my flat. Oh, man, he had me in stitches. Had me in stitches. He's just naturally funny. Oh, there was no air in my lungs after him. But yeah, he's, he's steamboats now. Bless him. Yeah. I want to go for a bit of dinner now. I don't know where. Just here with Raf. Gonna get another speaker and uh, a fuse for the car. That young fella's playing his saxophone again. What a cool lad. Six hundred pound a trolley for you. Keep it. Rose Gallery. I'm just showing them Rogue's Gallery, love. Good on ya. <laughs> Slap me ass, a dirty girl. Nice lady, that. 
what a beautiful evening. It's well warm as well. There's the old wagon. Can't see. There's the wagon. Can't see the little loopy loo. It's behind there, there it is somewhere. Between the silver, between Nave's car and Bentley, can't really see it. Our old wagon, she's got a full, full tank of petrol. She's ready to go on our adventures now. Can't go to Bleeding uh, Cambridge. My mother's going, uh, going to Grease Shoes, they say. Good luck to me, mother and Colin. Have a good time. Well, I've just had me a bacon and chips. And the Joan just phoned me. Joan, what you asked for, mate? Mars bars and Swiss roll. And uh, I pulled out my little stash for you. They are banging. Yorkshire. They're nice and all. Fudge. Jelly babies. Mmm, my favourites. I nearly forgot. How about that, Jonah? Well, my flat got flooded last night. You can't really see in there, but that's where the real damage was done. And I can't stay in this. He's bullying my neighbour. He's trying out his property as well. Yeah, that's two cameras there that got water damaged. Let's see if the council wants to pay for them. Just at the pharmacy, and uh, what's that mean? I'm not very uh, well educated. Close the gender pain gap. Funding research to help close the gender pain gap. Mm. Seriously, how adorable is this part? I just want to sniff his ears, man. <laughs> But I've still got my old faithfuls, if the worst comes to the worst. I'm going to go and check on it now. I bet she's still dry though. Great little bus that. Time for a bit of retail therapy. Which are Belgian buns at least. Well, I've just thought it's been about must be 25 years now. I've really missed cooking with gas. It's so much easier. Well, this better be worth it. Coming out of my car fund, can't believe it. I ain't got a cooker, so I had to get one. I've clocked this cat now for the last must be three or four weeks. So he's been born out in the wild or in a garage or something. Bleeding, starving man. I'll show you in a second. I'll just throw out some uh, a bit of bloomer with seeds. I've just changed the bird down there. Seed rack. And he was eating that. I'll oh, see
I'm gonna get you some food, man, later. I've just dished it up some bacon and eggs, but I ain't going out in the middle of the day. Up that uncut lady. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. have a harsh winter coming up, that's for sure. Hello, beautiful. Let me worry, mate. Sort you out later. Sod it off right out the window. Poor little thing starving. It's your lucky day, mate. Right, how am I going to do this? Good shot, mate. Oh, come on, mate. Go and move and have your eggs and bacon, otherwise I can't put it on YouTube, can I? Hey? Poor thing, probably been up all night. Not a bad shot. There we go, a bit of movement at last. Happy, happy, happy. My work is done. Seems a bit of a picky cat for bleeding, uh, being astray. Bloody eating seed in a minute ago. Listen. He's the king of the castle now. He's had his big grub that he done well, you know. That was pretty full. See what for his stray? He's a clean little thing, isn't he? I wouldn't say he's more than six or eight months old, to be honest, but... Yeah, bless him, he's a clean little fella. It's like 40 minutes later, and it's just staying there. It ain't moved at all. I hope it's all right. Well, it's been well over an hour now. The cat's just not moved. Bless it. Rich is on about adopting the cat. We're just going to go shopping. And what's out there? That cat again. I'm going to get it some food up little now. It's the last one in there and all. Grab it, Rich. Rich, I've like got you, mate. Don't worry about that. No, no, no. It's no, never no, too, it's never too is. early for um, no, mince to pies. I need to know what the fuck is. Fucking tempted, aren't you? Yeah, Rich said don't buy stuff for the cat. I'm going to get you some of that. Hey. Poor little cat's going to go hungry, mate. It's nearly if, winter. If it's not suitable for human consumption, then we could eat that as well. Put it in the curry, drop it Dude, I'm going to have to edit that bit out. Maybe you'll savage like that. These two are bang on it. Trying to get an owner in the morning. Right, so I'm just going to feed my cat. Do you know what? I ain't listening to Richard. The poor cat, man, he's out there. I ain't sport myself in a good while because I'm saving off saying. But it's nice to sport something else. I ain't really down with cats. I used to have them when I was like a kid and that, but 
They're fucking annoying. It's fuck, they're too independent for me. They just do their own thing, man. But they're cool as well, don't get me wrong. Another thing, this is the truth. I've done this before, right? I bought a pack like this because there was bleeding cat out the back. And I've seen it for about a month. And then when I bought a pouch of bloody stuff like food like this, I fed it once, never seen again. The fucking food was hanging about my van for a good 12 months. It's getting proper sport. Just found them in the freezer. I've just realised I haven't got a bowl. Right. Time to go and get a bowl then. Don't ask. You're going to eat like a king there today, bless it. Three masks. I'll give up. I'm trying to put this camera into uh, a position into this van. I've only been fighting with it for about five minutes. Anyway, off to do a bit of shopping. <sighs> Bloody nightmare, I tell ya. We finally got this van 100%. Right. Time to go and do one. I don't think he brings well, it's Sunday. Wrong, United just got spanked 3 0. Bit of comfy game. food. Oh, oh no. Oh no, let's stop it there. Just put the camera on for Poz fucking Gostalochi interrupting me. My mate Raymond just texted me and went, What happened there, bro? Enough already. What a beautiful day. Just come out. Same old problem with the car. If you leave it for two or three days, it just drains itself with the battery. I don't know what's going on with it. I know it's got an immobiliser or something like that. Oh, and the television's gone on the blink. It's not exactly on the blink, it's like dark mode. It's gone dark mode on me. I have to get Raf around. Yeah, he did sell me, so he bloody he wants to sort that out. I'll be on his case when he finishes work. There's so many jobs he uh, owes me. Bless him. On a mission to go and get a bell. I don't know where to head for. Oh, I know. Not only has he got a bad battery. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Not a bad battery. Not only is it draining the battery, it's also, since I've had it, it's had a slow puncher. But it's not a brand new tyre, so... Yeah, I ain't going to get it replaced, obviously. You can now add auto electrician to my bow. Um, it seems I blew the speakers, blew the radio, and I've just replaced the fuse. And uh, it's a sense of accomplishment when you've uh, literally just gained your seat in guilds and auto electrician. In yeah, I'm very proud of myself. Mm. Now back to getting a belt. Bell mission sorted. And number two. Sorted. Two belts. Four pounds. Four pound, I think it was, yeah. Four or five pounds. Dinner is served. I'm bloody starving. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. Take care for now. Bye-bye.